And an upstate pilot has a unique connection to the morning of the 9-11 tragedy. Our Nate Stanley joins us live with how he's remembering those lives lost 23 years later. Nate. The pilot I spoke to is originally from here in the upstate. He was actually flying across Pennsylvania on September 11th when he got a radio call he'll never forget. And I climbed up pretty high altitude, you know, like 38, 39,000. If you're Don Hazel, decades of flying and over 18,000 hours in the air, as far as you can see, no trees, no buildings, will leave you with plenty of stories and memorable days. And then I look straight down and see lightning below me. However, there's one day that Don says will live in his memory forever. On the morning of September 11th, 2001, Don was piloting a corporate charter jet from Trenton, New Jersey to Dayton, Ohio, when he received an odd call from air traffic control. The tower radio controllers said, uh, we've lost contact with one of the airplanes and asked us if we could radio them and uh, see if we can get a response from them. And we called them two or three times and never got anything. The plane that didn't respond was Flight 93, which was taken over by hijackers and crashed into a field in Pennsylvania. I thought of just normal, you know, frequency uh, error, and went ahead and landed at Dayton, and we loaded, went inside, and they said, oh, there's been a plane run into the Twin Towers in New York. The body goes numb, and when people talk to you, they've got to tap you on the shoulder to get your attention. 23 years removed from that terrible day, Don still looks through those physical flight log books. I would never have to write that. With the ominous flight note, World Trade Center hit by two airliners. Oh yeah, it comes right back in my mind like it happened yesterday. But I remember that sinking feeling. And just a week after 9-11, Don was able to fly that plane back to New Jersey. He says he was just one of the few planes across the country that was able to fly that day. Reporting in Greenville, Nate Stanley, WIFF News 4.